Yeah, it's interesting to see how, at least for the S&P 500, our 200 day and our 100 day moving average basically consolidated together, right? Uh, they converged right there and the market got pretty darn close to it. And now it definitely looks like we're ready to uh, bounce off of the 200 day and 100 day and, you know, basically head back down for another drop back down. You know, maybe, you know, for you stock traders out there trying to pick up some good bargains, if you're lucky, you know, maybe the S&P will get down to the 30-day uh, moving average, right? Which is the solid red line here. So if you're lucky, but that would kind of be my guess is a little pull back to the 30-day, uh, somewhere close to that. And from there, probably a bunch of chopping around, you know, as I guess what the market, the hedge fund managers and everybody else, company CEOs try to you know, figure out how much damage was done to the economy within their local country, but also just the damage to the economy around the world as well. You know, as everybody tries to speculate, you know, how much consumer spending, you know, there's going to be once, you know, once all these uh, stay at home restrictions are lifted. So, you know, so I guess, you know, while, while that economic spending guesswork is occurring, you know, while everybody's speculating on that, you know, the, meaning while CEOs are trying to speculate, you know, on when customers are going to start spending again. And also, you know, hedge fund managers trying to speculate when uh, consumers are going to start spending again. You know, during that whole time, probably for the next couple of months, we'll be just kind of range bound and chopping around here. Right. And then again, uh, as I've mentioned at the beginning of this year, this is a U.S. election year. So that also is going to put a little bit of un uncertainty into the markets as well. It's going to be an interesting year, let me tell you. You know, if you kind of look at your weekly charts here, and, you know, if you go back 10, 15 years, you know, it's not all that interesting. It's just basically a slow grind up. But I think as we focus in on on this year, it's going to be kind of interesting. You know, once we get to 2021, looking back on this year, I think it's going to be, um, you know, interesting learning lesson for everybody. Mm -hmm.